Welcome to Microsoft Dynamics AX 2015, codenamed AX7 or Rainer. In this demonstration, we are going to take a look on the development studio, how Visual Studio can act as a development interface for Microsoft Dynamics AX7. So let's start with the Visual Studio. I'm starting up with Visual Studio 2010 or pretty much I can start from here as well. So let me start with Visual Studio 2013 where I'll be creating a development project in here. So, uh, well, this is the AOT. We are pretty much familiar with it, the Application Explorer, although there are plenty of changes in there. So I'm creating a new project. Instead of using Morphix, this time I'm using Visual Studio where I'm specifying Dynamics AX7 project, whatever you want to name it. So let me call it Dynamics AX7 Project Demo. Clicking OK. So I'm creating a project inside Visual Studio for Microsoft Dynamics AX Rainer. Now if I take you to Solution Explorer, there we go the project in here. Let me quickly add a new item in here. So I want to add a new item and what I want to call it, whatever you want to add, whether it's an action menu item. So it could be based on analytics. It could be based on code where I can create a class, a runnable job or whatever. I can go for the data model elements. I can go for the data types. For example, want to create a base enum and the name of the base enum is going to be GTL underscore or that's that could be a base enum or that could be an EDT as well. So let me create a new EDT in here and what I want to call it, let me call it demo underscore EDT 01. So I'm clicking on the add button over here after specifying the EDT name. So you'll see that it's been added in here. Now we can specify whatever we want to the properties and all. And once we are done with this, I'm just clicking in, in here and I want to synchronize this with my ISV solution in here. So I've already synchronized that with my database. So if I expand the AOT in here and let me refresh the EDTs extended data types. Now after refreshing that, I want to show you something that we created it was demo underscore EDT01. So it was a quick example that as you can see that guys, we no longer required the Morphix IDE to get the development projects done in there. So now we are using Visual Studio directly to create all our project elements in there.